This is just pure hell. Oh my God, look at this. It's just insane, guys. It's just totally, just insane hell. <laughs> so, let's talk about it, the soul trap. Now, I get a lot of hate for this. <laughs> and I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this too, because a lot of people want to uh, feel like they're a victim. They are helpless victims with no power of their own, that they're just trapped forever, right? And for some of you who have reached out privately and, and told me of uh, your experience about like pre-birth memories and you know, seeing entities, seeing all these uh, archons and manipulations, right? Many people have had this experience. Um, you know, what, you know, we see this in, uh, the accounts of near death experiences, pre-birth experiences, uh, channeling, um, many different things. And the gist goes like this is that we are being manipulated. We are being trapped to reincarnate again and again and again on this planet by our contic forces, by demons, by entities that are basically wiping our memories and using us as an energy food source. This is the gist of the soul trap idea. And the answers to what do we do in this situation from most soul trap people is to complain online, to bond with others in terms of trauma and uh, connect on victimhood and to basically um, reiterate to those who are trying to raise the consciousness and awareness of uh, people in the world that, hey guys, just so you know, all of your efforts in this world are for naught. Uh, you're trapped forever. There's nothing you can really do. Uh, so sorry. Uh, but just so you know, everything's fucked. And so everything you do, you know, all of the uh, choices you make every day to be in love and truth, to help people, those don't really matter because ultimately, guys, you're just slaves, you know. So, uh, yeah, just just live in despair and live your entire life with the mindset of you just being a helpless slave to some entity somewhere. And so, you know, we can uh, we can choose to live this way. We can choose to accept this, but maybe there's another way. <laughs> maybe there's another consciousness um, or um, let's say perception of this phenomenon. So first, these are the basics, right? What we know is um, partial accounts from people who are still here with us, mostly, right? So first and foremost, are these totally accurate accounts? We have no idea to tell. Are they complete accounts, right? Could there be a part of the picture missing that we don't see? Could there be something we don't really know? We need to ask, you know, what does this information do to me? And, you know, what is the most empowering course of action based if this is true, right? That's what, how I look at things. I don't just say, oh my God, this is horrible, <laughs> right? I, I ask like, okay, if this is true, what can we do about it? And I want you guys, all you soul trappers to really ask that. And if your answer is nothing, that life is pain, that there is no point in anything, guys, that is one of the worst mindsets of despair you could possibly have and if you want to do any good in the world just keep your mouth shut on that one okay if you believe that just be quiet shh, shh, shh. don't don't say it okay because despair is a virus you know in the truth or community you see this all the time everybody thinks at any moment everything's gonna pop off and the whole world's gonna come to an end and guys, do you know how much damage the truther movement has done? Just Alex Jones, okay? Alex Jones has broken a lot of spells too. But do you know how many guys have probably listened to Alex Jones and thought at any point the UN was gonna go in? Not only were they not investing in their families, in their lives, probably selling all their stocks, selling their houses, buying gold, you know, building bunkers, all of this shit. You know, and you know, I'm not, I don't want to make a judgment. Maybe that is the right play, you know, and you should have gold and silver and you should have, be able to defend yourself. But I'm just saying, think about how many people's lives have probably been ruined, and, you know, because of that fear around these types of messaging, right? I think this is the most damaging thing you can do. The worst thing you can do in the world is despair, to promote despair. You know, to me, if, if I was in charge, I would make that a crime, <laughs> but you know, Guys, despair sells. <laughs> like, just so you know, like, like I'm shadow banned everywhere. If I were just like, 
you know, start promoting despair. Oh, all is lost. Well, you know, UN's coming in. Oh God, World War Three. Oh God. Do you know how many more clicks? Okay, <laughs> like it's it's insane. Like I got like twelve hundred uh, followers on Twitter. When I actually break spells and like call out the scams in real time, dude, I get like nine views on posts, or like many posts will have zero views. <laughs> You know, but if you go, Trump is amazing, Trump 2024, Trump's doing the deep state, oh my god, like, you get endless clicks. Like, people in the truther movement, if you don't realize this, you are now the new mainstream, okay? It's peaked, it's over, Tucker Carlson is now, you know, <laughs> edgy and alternative <coughs> dudes like CIA. Anyways, bit of a tangent there. Point being, despair is the worst thing you can possibly do if you want to be despairful in your own life that's fine you have the right to do that but i'm asking you as a human being for the love of god stop spreading despair and that's not to say put your head in the sand i would never ever say that it's not to not acknowledge all of the evil in the world all of the darkness that we face um i would never suggest that as well but we need to um realize a few things and this is a this is like a big boy conversation especially for you men okay i don't judge the women who are a little scared a little unsure you know but i judge you men especially because your job is to keep calm and be the change you want to see in the world is to um <laughs> to cultivate solutions you need to solve the problems <laughs> okay if you're just sitting around complaining and whining, do you know how brutal that is? Like, some of you have complained that I like block you on YouTube comments. I do, because I'll take any disagreement. I'll take any feedback. I'll take anything. But if you're just complaining and whining, like, don't talk to me. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I just don't want to talk to you. Like, I, like if you're just whining and, and calling me disinfo or, making fun of my guests you know like think of the entitlement of that like you're able like uh, i spend oh shit i spend my free time in between multiple businesses finding guests researching them getting them to finally come online with their busy schedules and we together start talking to we put out the best information we possibly can for you and you have access to it for free <laughs> you don't have to spend any money and you're still not happy. <laughs> you know, you're still angry. You're still pissed. Like, just think of the mentality of that. You know, think about how entitled you need to be to, um, like actually think it's okay behavior as a male, as a man to get angry and pissy and start beef to me or to my guests who have now spent their time, hours of their time for free, just for you to watch. You don't have to spend, you don't have to spend anything. You don't have to click like, you know, that would be a favor to me, but you know, <coughs> it's just insane, right? The entitlement. And, uh, you know, I'm going to, this is my, I guess, boomer rant here is in the soul trap. It's a lot of the arguments are the same. It's like, you know, there's life is nothing but suffering. God could have created this world where we are all flying and had everything we ever wanted and no problems and yada, yada, yada. And that's true. It's absolutely true, right? But we don't know everything. We don't have the complete picture. We don't know. Maybe we consented to this. Maybe we are here for the sole reason of we were bored. <laughs> you know, that's possible, right? Maybe we did have lessons we can learn. And then the big refutation of that is this idea where they say, yeah, but they memory wipe. So it's not fair. You're a bl blank slate. You know, they memory wipe you. To which I say, you know, let's say, let, let's just say for a second, okay, you were bored and you wanted the ultimate video game. <laughs> this would be it. This would be it. <laughs> Where you, you, you've totally forgot your sense of self, your connection to God, connection to the divine, and you're put into a weird, messed up scenario where it's like, both some of the most beauty and beautiful and you know, incredible place to live and also literal hell <laughs> at the same time. And you're caught in between naked and afraid trying to sort your way out with no real recollection of where you came from. You know, that would be the ultimate 
video game. That would be the ultimate experience. And, you know, people would pay, billionaires would pay money for that shit. <laughs> and that very well could be the scenario we're in, right? And so I think it's very important not to take this life and this realm too seriously. But on the issue of the memory wipe, uh, I talked to Tom Montauk about this. For me, I was totally different than my family. At eight years old, I had ideas of past lives. I knew that this realm wasn't my home. I was telepathic. I had strange abilities. I had a lot of interesting stuff and I was totally different from my family. If, you know, and I knew in my heart that I was different. I wasn't told that, I wasn't trained. I was totally outside of the norm of my whole society. Um, but again, I knew it because why? I believe we have a soul. I believe we are not our physical bodies or our minds. I believe our consciousness exists outside of the body and that our essence does live on. And um, so for me, when people say, oh, they wipe the memory, that's what I believe. Um, having said this, I want to, I, I, I want people to realize that I'm reading the same information you are. I'm interviewing the same people. I've gone down these rabbit trails. There does seem to be some type of phenomenon here. I'm just trying to first say, we don't know for sure what's happening. That's number one, right? It could be something we don't understand, so we should keep an open mind, right? We should never be certain about things that we're not certain about, <laughs> right? But next is then what do we do about it? Number two, and that is the most important one that none of you soul trappers talk about is what do we do now? You know, I think Howdy has a couple good ideas. Um, and I like Howdy, but guys, I, I gotta be honest. I get a lot of emails and comments from people who are fans of Howdy. And I think it creates this toxicity, guys, like where you all think life is nothing but pain and evil and this is pure hell. And guys, it's not pure hell here, <laughs> okay? Maybe that's part of the trick. Maybe that's part of the trap. Maybe they just make it as, you know, hard, you know, hard as possible but tolerate you know like the the good place that tv show just enough so you tolerate it so you keep going and they could lose you maybe maybe right but i don't know guys i'm blown away by the world and my life and i feel great like incredibly privileged and gracious and blessed every single day and it hasn't just come you know overnight <laughs> you know it's been me cultivating it through gratitude awareness and continued uh, manifestations and so you know for your soul trappers you know does that matter to you does it matter that if you were to cultivate gratitude if you were to change your mindset from huh I'm in a prison to okay I don't know where I am it might not be good but maybe I can make it better maybe I can raise my vibration maybe I can raise my consciousness maybe I can help those around me maybe I could you know what would be the best life I could live on this planet you know what if you spent your energies cultivating that you know that's what I want to be. That's the podcast I want. I want to be a place where we're asking these questions. How can I cultivate the best life possible? Right? It's not just going down endless rabbit holes. Okay? It's asking that question. So, let's assume that it's real. Okay? Everything they say about the soul trap, we know 100%. Which we don't. But let's say we do. Guys, what do we do? What is the answer? What is the solution? To me, it is cultivating as much sovereignty, freedom, and independence as we can in this world, and preparing our minds and our consciousness for the world beyond. Now, how do we create abundance now in this world? Well, we can do that through manifestation, through building a better life, through first realizing the life we want to live, what our ideal life would be, and taking practical steps to move towards that daily, committing to that daily, right? Um, every aspect of our life, to exercising every day, to eating well, to cultivating friendships, to growing the friendships we currently have, right? These are all things that if you're complaining and crying online that everything is hell and woe is me and everything, you're not doing because you're wasting your goddamn time, right? So do it. Make. I challenge you soul trappers. Just make this life the best, right? That you possibly can, even if it's a prison, okay? Like, if I'm in a prison, what would I rather have? Would I rather have, you know, 
a jacuzzi and a waterfall and the best friends and sushi every day and the best food and I can, you know, leave wherever I want and I can still see cool things and I can help people and I can be challenged and I can build stuff. Or do I want to be in solitary confinement in a six by six cell? You know, okay, ask yourself that question. Okay. And then next, ask yourself this question is, who are you really? Okay. Do you really buy into the fact that you are just a vessel for entities? That you are just, what, a husk for them? You're just cannon fodder? Do you really buy that? Are you really, like, that mentality? Okay? Like, guys, we gotta, we gotta start thinking now. Because if you haven't noticed that the world is... I call it the Great Forkening. And no, it's not a Bitcoin term. Um, it's... We are seeing, and we will continue to see a bifurcation of the world. We will see people trapped in fear in lower consciousness states and um, higher states. And I don't want to get too new agey, right? But I'm just seeing that in my own life every day. Like now all, all of the people who are coming into my life are like the highest vibe people I've ever met. And it's totally incredible. And then lower vibe people in my life, they're just like, I'm not saying goodbye. I'm not doing breakups or anything. They're just not even around. I keep, like I can't even get these people on the phone. They can't even interact with me. <laughs> and you'll see that. I, I want to actually do a video on just signs of higher vibe. And that's that's one of them. You'll literally just see higher vibe people just come into your place. Like, you know, we just the other day we were on a hike and we met this guy and he had, he's a dairy farmer. And he had f four daughters and he's growing food and he's just like the coolest dude and he's just like man we gotta hang out like i'm like yeah and i'm meeting all these amazing people <laughs> and all these low vibe people are just not there and i love them and and i noticed this as well when my vibe's low all of a sudden those lower vibe people start reaching out to me <laughs> you know so our, our dominant conscious state guys is like that's the biggest spell is that our dominant conscious state impacts our entire reality that is the spell you know why that's happening i don't fully know and that's that's what we're trying to figure out together on this podcast but you know if you if you're just convinced let's say you have the power okay let's say if you have a lot of spiritual power anything you really think is you can manifest okay if if you're convinced that you are a prisoner would you not be manifesting that right would you not have a self-fulfilling prophecy right there's in in the world there's you can justify any position, right? You can justify that this is the greatest time of abundance in the history of our species, or you can say this is the greatest time of slavery, suffering, decay, um, corruption that's ever existed. Guys, both, both are true at the same time, <laughs> right? Isn't that crazy, right? We can justify anything. So like choose your adventure. That's what this realm is. It, it is a choose your own adventure. And for the soul trap people, like, is that really what you want? You know, do you, do you, do you just want to complain online? Do you just want to cry and say, you know, I'm i I'm trapped. I'm a slave. Like choose right now. Are you a slave? Is that what you are? Are you just somebody who's like a little slave to some stupid archon or do you have sovereignty? You know, are you connected to God, the most high? Are you just like a passive vessel? some little wiener archon is that really what all we are do we not have any free will do we not have power you know to me i know full well that we're connected to god i know we have infinite power the only limitation is in our mind the only limitation is um, our egos and our lack of faith that's that's my truth you know um having said that i think we're being messed with all the time by entities i guys i've been experiencing shit that's insane and i don't really talk about it um too much but it's real you know i have seen entities i've had strange attacks since i started this podcast i've had crazy crazy stuff happen okay and there is an aspect of realness but what's funny is i laughed it off and it stopped <laughs> you know whereas others i know have spiraled people have had like you know just like a fraction of some of the stuff i've had happen and they're trapped in that forever. And uh, again, it's the mindset, like this idea that this realm is only, you know, bad, demonic, evil. I just, 
that's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to manifest for you, in my opinion. And yeah, you can call me New Agey. You can call me whatever. But again, you got to choose right now. Are you a slave? Are you a free person? That's basically it, right? If you're a slave, then all you can do is just try to, you know, live the best life you can. And uh, just like, don't complain too much, you know? But if you're a free person, you need to cultivate sovereignty and freedom as much as you possibly can. Uh, now and in, in the future life, right? Instead of complaining on the internet, why don't you every day uh, start learning how to lucid dream? The main reason why I believe we're able to be manipulated by our cons is that we've forgotten who we are and we haven't cultured and nourished our connection to God. And so I think lucid dreaming is um, the first step because lucid dreaming teaches you to constantly question the reality you're in, question uh, who you are, where you are. Is, are you in a dream or is it real? And you do that enough, then in a dream, you start to question it. And the first time you lucid dream, it's like a tr transformational experience, right? And then you start to realize, hey, maybe I am in a dream, even in a waking life. <laughs> and you start to experience the astral. And I don't want to advocate all people mess around in the astral. But it's there. It exists. You know. And I think it's just another thought layer in this reality. It's ultimately probably a dream too. Um, I think all of these things are thought forms. And all of them are due to our separation with God. And again, now... I'm not going to say I am God. I'm not going to say I am Jesus or you are God. Uh, right now there is, we do see separation. Um, I've never met God. <laughs> you know, every person who said they're God has been really emotionally unstable. But I do believe because I experience it every day and I feel the connection in my heart. And it's the knowing has been cultivated to such an extent that I know there is a positive, loving, creative force that we are all connected to. That sustains us, that breathes life into us, and that we, uh, that is the main purpose of life, is finding that. And that's what I think life is so exciting, is that, you know, that is the ultimate test. Like, can you, in this world of insanity, in this world of chaos, can you find God? Can you find your center? Can you connect to the Most High at all times, even if you've forgotten who you are? You know, that to me is cool, that idea, because it shows that. It's the ultimate test, you know. In the Bible, they talk about this idea of, um, you know, Satan kind of, Satan and God kind of like fucking with you, you know, like Job in the Old Testament, you know, whatever, right? But for me, think about, you know, I think of what would be the ultimate test, you know, if I was God. And I'm not saying I'm God, just to be clear. But if I was God, and that, you know, I'm talking with Satan, all right? I would say, Satan would be like, nah, trust me, I got this. I rule the realm. I rule them based off their their fiendishness and their lusts and their fears and their envies. Watch me. I can play these guys like a fiddle. And then God says, like, yeah, you can for a time. Okay. But know what I can do? And I, I, will, I will show you this. Over time, because time doesn't actually exist, but let's say in an epoch, an era, I guarantee you that a certain amount of people, I will... I will remove their knowledge of me. I will remove their memories of me. I will remove their um, experience living in paradise, living in higher realms, having complete power and sovereignty. I will, I will give them only 1% of their actual capacity. And I guarantee you, those people will find me again. I guarantee you that those people will discover who they really are, that I dwell within them always that I never leave them ever that I am there at all times and I believe that's what the world is that is my reality and um, taking that worldview has changed my entire life in a way that you can't even imagine um, but yeah I mean that's where I'm at so you soul trap guys where are you at what is your reality is it is it literally just complaining that oh all is lost woe is me you know there's nothing we can do you know or, or are we going to talk solutions together because if we're just going to complain and and a think that we know everything we know the nature of reality you know and that all is evil all is horrible all is hell in this world i don't want to talk to you anymore <laughs> and it's not because i'm ignorant it's just because i like i literally don't want that vibe around um, you guys, you got to be really careful who you let into your, your lives and your, your space 
in your mind <laughs> because it's very you know in the bible again it says you know the na the road is narrow that leads to salvation and i believe that as well it's so easy to slip and to get into lower ordered thinking you know it's so easy in this realm that's where i think people have it right is that like the 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 vibe of this place it's not pure hell like if you read swedenborg he went to the lower astral realms like there are way worse places than here just so you know and i'm pretty sure they're real right there you know but it's not that this is like a blend we're kind of in the middle between what paradise likely would be you know and pure hell that's how i see things and so our our um <laughs> Our job, our role, is to choose heaven, choose higher order consciousness, or be pulled down. Because there's this huge weight or gravity towards our homeostasis. And homeostasis in this realm is like a largely fear-based, largely like lower order thinking, you know, lustful, envious, hating, jealous type energies. And it actually, you have to put in work every day to cultivate higher order consciousness. You got these horsies over here. I don't know if you can see them, but booyah. Just hanging with these these hell hell horses here. I'm just kidding, they're total sweethearts. Um yeah, my neighbor's horsies here. Uh but yeah, right? We have to cultivate realm, and it's our choice, right? You know, these people like they literally have the uh entitlement of like, oh yeah. We should, the f it's literally, I've heard this argument. Basically it goes like, we should have had, I want the horsey in here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Little beauties, eh? Look at this. It's not so hellish, is it? <laughs> hey cuties. Oh yeah. What are you guys doing? Anyways, yeah. Um, they... You have to make the choice. Like they have this entitlement. If I don't have complete freedom and in like how heaven at all times, you know, life is pure pain and chaos and suffering. And and I don't want to discount the suffering in the world. It's real. I know a lot of people suffering, you know. I don't want to be like everything's great, everything's amazing. But it's a mindset. <coughs> I met a dude the other day with no legs and like one gimp arm. And the dude was like happy, had a wife, had kids. <laughs> It was like more positive than I am. And I was just like, holy shit, you know? And, and so, you know, I don't know. Another tangent, but long story short, I do believe that it is up to you. It is up to us to choose our own adventure. And that I choose the, the truth that I am sovereign, that I am connected to God the most high, and that I'm not just a passive slave and uh, milk cow for astral creatures. Um, but I do believe that we can be. Um, I think we've forgotten who we are. And I think that that opens us up to contracts, because this is a free will realm, but it opens us up to contracts that we can be taken advantage of. And the more we believe we are separate and victims, the more that that contract will be, have ink on it, have our blood, have our fingerprint, have our consent. But we can break any contract at any time. And... We can start to choose a life of abundance and creation and positivity and that is our job and that's our role so hopefully that helped guys um uh, i got some new <laughs> they're so cute uh, can i zoom in on that let's see oh yeah there we go those are the stars of the show we'll finish off with that okay guys much love like and subscribe if you like horses goodbye